Good afternoon, everyone. Apple snails damaging rice crops first time ever. Smithfield Foods going to close. I wonder if they'll ever reopen. Pour your milk out. Federal mandate right here. Disposal of milk. The everything bubble needs to come crashing down. Let's trust the government again because it's never ending money. Printing is just going to make your money more valuable. Well, actually, if you control the food, you can control the people. And do what you're told while your food source is ripped from your very fingers. Well, that's a first. The FDIC posting a video on YouTube urging Americans to keep your money in the banks. And it looks like the banking system could be in for a 10 times larger shock than the housing meltdown in 2008. And it's quirky that if it was such a stable financial system, the FDIC wouldn't need to say a word. With this much inflation on the way, only one investment stands out. Gold. Patriot Gold Group has no fee-for-life IRAs where your IRA or 401k can be in physical gold or silver. At Patriot, you work directly with an owner and avoid paying absurd broker fees. Call today or request a free investment kit. PatriotGoldGroup.com. The link's in the description box below. Among many firsts on our planet over these last couple of months, here's another one. Apple snails wreaking havoc across Louisiana rice crops. This is only one of many fields that are now discovered to have the same snail, quite large. And as Farm Press reports here, it's the first time in North America with significant damage, specifically rice and this species of snail. Now, you know, once in, never out. So here we go. How's our rice crop going to fare from this point forward with this type of pest that they have? It looks like very few mitigation programs to eradicate this invasive snail. Now, on to eradicating another food source. Smithfield Foods going to be closing for three days. I wonder if they'll ever open again. South Dakota here. Three-day closure. And meat is on the attack from all sides. Eat the insects. Cows are bad for the environment. Across the landscape, once a business closed, it seems like it's not going to really reopen at the functionality it used to have prior to all these events happening on our planet. And with the average net worth and disposable income decreasing, dropping off a cliff, the everything bubble, I wonder if it'll really stop at the orange line as it did with the housing bubble, the dot-com bubble. Where is the parity or the equal line going to be reached? Back in 1970? Who knows? As low as we go. But your purchasing power is going to be eroded whatever way you look at it. Because after leaving the gold standard, it's up and up and up. And then just even in these last three or four weeks, we need to go off literally the end of this chart upward into the 30 trillion plus range. So your money's going to buy less food, period. And Kissinger said it right. Control the oil, you control a nation. Control the food, you control the people. Guess what? You're being controlled. Things that are considered essential or non-essential determined by the government Closing off seed supplies. And Walmart, you're just as complicit in the food control as anybody else. And I like how she also says, what about wasp spray? So true, you know, a lot of insects are coming out now that it's spring, nesting. People are allergic to bees and wasps. I would consider that also an essential, along with fertilizers, bone meal, seeds, and everything else in between. Take a look here. Walmart doing its very best to put you back in the clutches of government. Attention, customers. Only essential items shall be purchased here. But you know, sticky fingers, if it needs to be. Hey, this is a changing time because this is considered an essential. If you have the money, I know you would purchase it. But since they don't even let you spend your devaluing fiat, the moral compass might shift into a Hoover fashion. U.S. dairy farmers dump milk. Upending food markets. I came across this story and I thought I'd dig into it a little more because I found some specific dairies here. Off of Reading Eagle, Berks County farmers dumping milk. They've never been asked to do this. This is all the way back since 1948 that they hadn't been asked to do this when they began operations. Now, the Clover Farms were told to dump their milk because the dairy's full. Now, this makes sense in some fashion where all these institutional buyers out there, universities, schools, hospitals, whatever it might have been, mass buyers are now cutting their orders. So there's going to be an extra amount at this time. But wait until that goes through and everything evens out again. Once those mass institutions start buying again, they're going to create the shortages. So it even says I'm third generation. 1948 never had to do this, and then they were talking specifically about a letter received from the government mandating that they dump the milk. 
And I thought, all right, this USDA letter has to be pretty easy to find. And right here it is. Federal milk order number one. So here's the government again, right in the middle of your business, trying to adjust supply and demand. And how they're so graciously going to try to provide flexibility for the disposal of milk and the limit to the financial impact of producers. That's all good because they're getting paper. But where's the milk, the dairy, the cheese that we're going to need to eat? It's not going to be there. Is this a ploy to destroy our food source in the United States? Welcome to the Federal Milk Marketing Order Program. And it seems that there are 11 regional milk ordering centers across the United States. Now, I understand trying to help the farmers consolidate, put them into co-ops, and then bulk sell that milk. But it's coming back to bite them in the behind. Solutions to encourage collaboration that will ensure the food supply chain remains strong. Well, you know what? It looks like it's not so much right now. It's starting to break down across the United States where there's regional deliveries going on. But anything outside the regions... You're not getting it. There's milk shortages in other parts of the United States, yet they're dumping it in the Northeast. We got all kind of fruit rotting in Florida because they can't deliver it. And then you got shortages and it's unbelievable. So don't grow your own food. Just obey. Obey government with your decreasing fiat. Do whatever they say. Don't ask questions. Comply and continue to consume. Watch more television and be a good surf. And when I wrote this book, Climate Revolution, last year, my co-author Bill Porter and myself talked about when it's about one year out from global food shortages to the point where everybody would see it clearly that we have a problem with food production, the planet would be locked down, and the economy would not collapse, but evaporate. The value is in the food supply of a country. When that goes, so does the stability, so do the threads of society, and we're here now. Climate Revolution, the Grand Solar Minimum, a way for you to adapt and thrive. The link's in the description box below. I thank you for watching the video. Massive changes. You're going to have to start growing some of your own food. The second part of the book is all about the solutions and getting ready for such ideas in your mind.